Hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make those three layer Instagram videos you've probably already seen and the program we're going to be using today is Adobe Premiere. Uh, so let's get straight to it. Alright guys, so you're going to want to go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere and uh, I already have mine open up as you can see and I have my video already on my timeline but um, let's start by making sure that your sequence settings is set up to the right format for Instagram. So let me just go ahead and go up here to sequence. You're going to want to click sequence settings then your time base should be at 23.976 and your frame size should be at 1080 by 1920 and if that's already there then good job <laughs> but anyways go ahead and click ok and now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to stack our footage on top of each other and anyways let's go let's get to it so this is going to be the most important part when making Instagram Reels so that way we distribute all the frames equally. We're going to want to go to view, sorry, click on this square first, then click on view. You want to make sure that your show rulers and show guide is checkmarked. So now that that's checkmarked, we need to split up our guides evenly. So to split up the guides, when you, when you bring your cursor up, you'll see this little guide. I don't even know what you call this, but you see that the cursor change. You want to bring this down to 640. 640. You're going to want to bring it down, another one down to 1280. If you guys see the little numbers on the side of the cursor, you'll see where you're at. This is the hardest part of doing this, to be honest, is just getting the exact numbers on this. There you go. All right, so now that we have our guides set up, let's go ahead and start uh, editing and positioning our videos where we want it. So I think I want this guy in the middle. I want to make him maybe a little, make him a little smaller so he fits my frame a little better. I'm going to go ahead and uh, position him more. Towards the middle, I want to. You may want you want to make sure that you don't leave a, you know, you don't leave any space where where you can see the other videos below it. But um, yeah, that's going to be good right there. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do go to the effects tab and click type in crop. Grab the crop, drag it onto your video on the timeline. And now that you have that there, go ahead and click on that. Um, click on your video, I mean. And what you're going to do is want to crop from the top and from the bottom. So we're going to want to, the more you increase the numbers, the more you start to crop it. But I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can see exactly where I'm at. Whoop. Okay. So we're going to go, click on crop. For me, it's going to be exactly at 0.8. Now I'm going to take some off the top. And there you go. That's my first frame. Now I'm going to click on the second one. Positioned and where is. Okay, so this is going to be. This is going to be a hard one. So let's scale this down so I can see a little bit better. Actually, let's go up here. Click on the eye mark. Let's bring this back up. So you can see, let's click on this eye mark so it hides, and we know what we're working with, so it hides the, the frame that's on top of it. Um, I'm going to scale this down a little bit more, but essentially that's kind of what I'm going to want on top of this frame here. So I'm going to click play. where I want it like right there maybe right there is fine I want it right there same thing you're going to want to get the crop and drag and drop onto the second and same thing guys we're going to crop from the bottom bring it back up I believe 13 is going to be the number for me Oops. 13 is going to be the number for me. 
Yep, it's going to be 13. And let's crop some off the top. Top doesn't really matter because it's not going to be an actual frame. All right, but so there we go. We got two frames out of three. Okay, now we need this last one. So let's go ahead and hide the, the two frames that are on top of this video here. And we're going to want to make sure that we crop into this one pretty good because it's it's not, it's actually already a vertical video. I shot this on the portrait mode. around it. I don't think I like the Okay, that's better. Alright, so now I'm gonna probably want to crop this down. Uh, let's do probably 80. Okay, I can go a little smaller. Okay, same thing with this one. Add the crop effect on there and let's crop from the bottom. And we're going to want to position this down here actually, so it doesn't really matter when you crop from the bottom, just go ahead and uh, frame your shot on the bottom, uh, on the bottom square you're going to want to uh, focus on the top one focus on cropping the top. All right, there you go. Let's go ahead and play that through, but honestly guys, it's as simple as this. It's not that hard. Um, if you guys follow step by step on everything I did, um, you should get a style and a video like this. So guys, this is the final product right here. And now that you learn how to make these videos, Go ahead and leave a link to the video created down below on the comments. I'll go ahead and make sure to check them out. Leave a like and a comment and support you guys. And with that being said, I'm going to ask you guys a favor of supporting me by leaving a like and a subscribe. This really helps me beat the algorithm and just get me up ahead. But anyways, you guys have a great day and thank you for making it through all the way to the end of this video. And uh, peace out. Okay. That's it? Yeah.